Welcome back. I am so excited tonight to show you guys how easy it is to cook mac and cheese. We take five tablespoons of butter and melt it in a pan. To this, we are going to add two large sliced onions. We mix the onions well with the butter and leave it to caramelize. Now, while this is being done, I have 400 grams of macaroni which I am only going to half cook. Look at these onions. Now we are going to add three tablespoons of flour to it. This is going to thicken our sauce. You will see how well the flour absorbs the butter in. So we mix it well. And now we are going to add in milk. So I'm using one liter of milk, which I will add a little at a time and keep stirring continuously because we don't want it to get lumpy. We need a nice creamy sauce. Now that we finally added all the milk in, we mix it well and we will add one teaspoon of salt to this. Give it a stir. And you will see that it has already thickened. Now since the sauce is nice and thick, we turn off the stove because the next step is we are going to add the cheese in and we don't want the sauce boiling. So I'm using 300 grams cheddar cheese. I'm keeping a little for later on. You can use different kinds of cheese to increase your flavoring. You can mix cheddar with any other cheese you like. Use two or three different types of cheese. It's totally up to you. Um, it's whatever you would love. As you can see, the cheese has melted into the sauce. It's just beautiful. We've got a lovely creamy texture. And now I'm going to add in some Worcester sauce. So I'm using about one tablespoon of Worcester sauce. It just gives it that added flavor. I'm adding in one tablespoon of mustard. I would recommend you use Coleman's mustard, but if you don't have it, you can use whatever mustard you have at home. Today I'm using Hellman's mustard. So we take one tablespoon and add it in and then we mix it all together. You can see that it's got such a beautiful color. And now we are ready to add in the macaroni. We empty all the macaroni into the dish and we give it a good mix to see that it's coated well. If you find that the sauce is very thick, you can add in a little water, maybe about two or three tablespoons of water and just stir it in. So it will thin the sauce down a bit before we put it into the oven. So now that the macaroni is well coated, we are going to empty it into a baking dish. You can see how beautiful it looks. There's enough sauce in it, so once we bake it, it will not be dry. Now just take a spoon and level it out. And then we will add the remaining cheese on top before we put it into the oven. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees centigrade and then 
we shall put the dish in. It's evenly done. Now the oven is already heated and I'm ready to put the dish in. So we're going to bake this for 30 minutes on convection bake. And now just look at it. It's looking so beautiful, delicious. So let's take it out. You can see the top crust. It's crispy and then you have it. Look at that. Look at the sauce. It's thick. It's creamy. Just lovely. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, try this at home and let me know how it goes.